I would like to take the time to recognize the historic event that took place last week. On September 24, 2015, His Holiness Pope Francis became the first pope to ever address Congress. I would like to thank all that were involved in this planning process that led to this significant event, especially Speaker John Boehner. It was truly an honor to take part in the first address to Congress. Pope Francis's message was one of hope and love and reminded us that we need to keep fighting for the sanctity of life, marriage, family, and religious liberty. Pope Francis clearly stated that there is a moral obligation to protect the unborn babies. Protecting the unborn is one of the issues that compelled me to run for political office in the first place, and I'm committed to continuing to fight in Congress. During his address, the Pope said, quote, the golden rule also reminds us, reminds us of our responsibility to protect and defend human life at every stage of its development, Pope Francis said. I am convinced that this is the best way, since every life is sacred, every human person is endowed with an inalienable dignity, close quotes. I am proud to be the lead sponsor of H.R. 816, the Life at Conception Act. The Life at Conception Act is a necessary component in the long-term protection of the unborn. In the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision, the Supreme Court justices wrote that since the beginning of life is not defined by law, it is open to interpretation. The Life at Conception Act simply defines a con by Congress that the life of a child begins at conception. Establishing personhood will protect the right to life of unborn children who are the most defenseless among us and need our protection. This bill sets a standard for promoting and encouraging a culture of life. If enacted, it would simply affirm that unborn children are deserving of protection. We currently have 122 co-sponsors of this important bill, and I encourage my colleagues in the House to co-sponsor as well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.